what is on your Mount Crushmore? Mount Crushmore is your top four beers, your your go tos, mm, okay. your classics. You know, like the like four okay. like top. See like top. Kind of so, yeah. I say, okay. So uh, first off, I'll preface it, which I'm sure lots of people will. With I have many more in my top ten, but I'll pick or top four. I have lots of beers. Yeah. So I don't really have a top four. Okay. Um, but I would say the first ones that come to mind. I'll maybe I'll do like the uh, kind of the nostalgia That's route. That's fine. You know. So Mount, Mount Rushmore is old presidents. So yeah. Yeah, right. Makes right. Sense that, yeah. I mean, for me, you know, like Miller High Life, Narragansett was was in the George Washington slot. You know? Yeah. So, so like, that's what I, was I gonna... don't drink it a lot. But, you know, if I'm going to drink a lager beer like High Life's in there and then Narragansett's the craft Ugh, alternative. Um, I... Why does it get flat so quickly? Um, but because uh, but... they put so many bubbles in it. Yeah, I guess. You open it up and it's like, shit, um, beers. Done. Yeah, done. It's, <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's, like, a, the, it's like a sparkler. You it's know? the RC Cola of, of beer. <laughs> it's OK. It, I still love it. So do you remember RC Cola? Yeah, I drink RC Cola it, and it's flat already, um, but it's delicious, it's and it's my initials. Um, but uh, <laughs> but no, so I would say like uh, first off, so I'm gonna pick three craft beers and then one domestic, just because yeah. I I was in high school at one point and drank Every, domestic. Everybody beer. was there, and um, and uh, and I still will crush one from time. We float the Yakima every year, which is a local river, and it, if you think you can drink 15 uh, IPAs <laughs> and not have gorge, you bet your boots. Yeah, I could, well, I could drink 15 finger guns on the. Yeah, Sabrina, I could try, but I, I can maybe drink all day. Or something like that. Yeah, I just don't want to burp constantly, uh, but and have it all just hot burps. But, but okay, so um, uh, Samuel Smith's oatmeal stout. Oh, so yeah. this is one that yeah. I can't even imagine how good it tastes like on tap in in, in England. England. Yeah, um, but that's one of my favorites. Um, uh, uh, is it a Russian river that's famous for Pliny the Elder and Pliny yes. the Younger, yep. which uh, personally they make amazing beers. Those two beers are overrated in my opinion, but again, that's preference. Um, I, my favorite IPA they make is Blind Pig, and um, I have a friend that goes, well, they don't sell it up here anymore, but I have a friend that travels back and forth from time to time and he'll actually bring me a case of it. Um, it is delicious. Yeah, and they it, drop distribution in Washington for some reason. Yeah, they well, still do Oregon. Yeah, but you know, I mean, they gotta, they gotta make sure that just just like all of us, you want to make sure that your home market's taken care of. Sure. And if you've been in a market longer, maybe you get out of this one, right? It happens to everybody. We all make mistakes of over expanding than having to contract. Um, but uh, so those two, um, a third one, you know, I mentioned Oscar Blues earlier. Old Chubbs like is just I love that beer. It's it's you don't see many Scotch ales that aren't just peated out. Um, it's really good. See, this is the thing is now I'm just I'm thinking of all these other beers it, that it, are that amazing. Happens, you know, but uh, that for a domestic, um, now I've probably drank more as much as it pains me to say this Bush than the, any right. other domestic. But <laughs> hey, you know. my favorite domestic is and it's actually a, like a heritage brand or a, what are they a legacy brand I think they yeah. call them is Oli. Uh, we always call it the corn yeah. beer because right. it kind of tastes like corn, yeah. but it's delicious. Um, still that's, a, good. that's Olympia. For Olympia. Yeah. Enough. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, Oli. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, I mean, I can't, I just, okay. I feel dumb now yeah. just saying those right. three because I have, I just thought of five others, but um, <laughs> do you, do you want an auxiliary? Like if you were going to redo Mount Crushmore or like round two? Cause, we'll no, cause I'm just going to feel right. bad about okay. taking those ones That's off. So true. just leave it. Just know that I have three. my, my Mount Crushmore has uh, 15 presidents on it. Right. So, okay. um, so but, you've taken over all the black Hills. Yeah. Well, and yeah, exactly. Hey, I've been there. Um, and you know, and, uh, and I and that's leaving out. I mean, we have yeah. uh, personally. I'm just going to throw this in here. Uh, we have many beers that I've loved over the years. Um, we did a fresh hop of uh, our uh, a beer we used to make called Loco Loco Imperial Red. Yeah, it's one of the best. And I mean, that wasn't just me. I mean, the feedback we had from that yeah. beer, and and we've made some versions of it since that are great. We for, still have regulars requests. Oh, totally. <laughs> and of course, because when we sold it, it was like one percent of our sales, and it was the most expensive beer we make. But every person that ever drank that liked it has yeah. told us. Um, and the other one is the first saison we did, which was, um, I think it was Greg's recipe. I, I want to say it was either Greg or Jeff who used to work for us. Was and it Farmlandia? No, well no, before right, Farmlandia. Before it was years ago. And it, we were trying to make it as close to a DuPont saison as possible. And it was, oh, it was amazing. It was quite a good It's amazing. Man. And we even did a dark saison from it um, nice. that we called Belgian Black that was, yeah, those were, you know, 